the vow of the duty. Danielle Kinsman has received upwards of $30,000, she says, in federal pandemic funding. This helped support her daycare, Jumped Up Jelly Beans, which she opened in 2020. But I don't know a, a, a world before COVID without the funding. Kinsman says it's been crucial to keeping staff well paid and the often high cost of child care low for her parents. With it drying up, that money for many daycares will have to be made up which could mean raising costs. It's difficult in this industry because you're not raising the cost of a t-shirt. They're children, so you feel like you're taking away from the kids, but you also have to be able to have the people who work here support their kids. While parents have been understanding, Kinsman says, child care is already quite expensive. According to the Child Care Resource Network, for weekly daycare in Erie County, the market rate is around $300 per week, or more than $15,000 a year. With this loss of funding... We aren't going to wake up Monday morning to dozens of program closures. But Kristen Matcha from the Resource Network says... Or as things start to wrap up here and, and people are flipping now into this, their sustainability plans, um, we may see some of those costs shift back onto the parents to increase those rates. If they do, the Child Care Resource Network is there to help connect parents with subsidies that pay for child care free of charge. And depending on the size of your family, parents making up to 300 percent above the federal poverty line can receive assistance. So any rate increase because of this loss of federal funding could impact certain groups more than others. I think the, the folks that would be most impacted by this would be those that are just above that 300 percent of the poverty level um, because they're the ones that aren't necessarily going to qualify for that assistance. For a family of four, that mark is $90,000, higher if you have more kids. Matcha says this cut could more so mean that parents are forced to look at different child care options, which the network can also help with. And while more temporary funding would be nice, Kinsman realizes... If we don't find a different way to solve the problem, the same thing is going to happen every time it's about to expire. Rob, if prices do go up, what other resources are there out there for people so they can get help? Yeah, Kelly, it's kind of a delicate balance here, but you can reach the resource network for a lot of these questions by calling 716-877-6666. They're also online as well. It's Child Care Resource Network. I will also have a synopsis of how their initial consultation works posted on WGRZ.com with Matcha there. So if you are looking for answers, hopefully that can put you on the right track as well. On your side in the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.